Hey guys, welcome back. In the last lecture, we implemented a static form for searching the users. Now in this lecture, we will convert this static HTML form into the dynamic Rainsec search form. Okay, but before making any changes to the form, first visit the Rainsec James GitHub direct uh, GitHub repository. Rainsec gem and now you can come to the documentation of this gem and here this is the link for extensive documentation for Rainsec. and since we already installed the gem so we can skip this installation part and come to the getting started and open the simple mode because we are using this Rainsec in the simple mode for now okay and here you can see that in the controller action you need to do something like this so this is the model name on which you want to perform search okay so in our case the model name is user so we need to use user dot rainsec params queue where params queue is the query string parameter on based upon user want to search okay so now let's switch to the home controller and we need to set up this index section according to the rainsec okay so at the rate q equal to user dot rainsec and here params queue okay and then we need to remove this user from here and what we need to use at the rate q dot result okay so the controller setup has been done now we need to uh, set up uh, now we need to convert this dummy form or static form into the uh, dynamic range search form and you can see the search form helper also provided by range so here you can see search form for so what we can use we can simply copy this search form for helper and we can use this here so uh, before the input group md uh, use this and here and the search form okay but we need to again make some change here that is search form for at the rate q and now we need to mention the url explicitly here why because uh, uh, we are not using this search form on a resource controllers index section we are using it on a custom controllers index section and whenever a user performs search it will take you to some action or some route okay so we need to mention the url explicitly here so we can use root path and change this f to form now okay and now uh, after doing this change uh, replace your input group within the form and uh, in correctly indent it now we need to convert this input uh, element into the dynamic form element okay so what we can do is use here form dot search field okay and then we can use city or country count city or country count okay and then we need to use the class by the way why we use the city or country count here because count is the measure in the range set. that means contains okay so whenever user types a keyword it means if it contains by the country or city then it will filter the user based upon this okay now class form control and then here you can use placeholder and in this placeholder we can simply use the search by city or country or search by country or city so place it here and now we need to use the area attribute and in the rail stack you need to use area differently so now we will use the key value pair so label and here search by country or city and then described by and here we need to use button add-on 2 okay remove this element now because we implemented uh, we converted it into the dynamic search form field okay now we need to uh, replace this button as well with some submit button so we can use form dot submit and here we can use search and then provide class that is btn btn primary and then we need to use id for this button and the id should be button add-on 2 okay save this and remove this button element as well okay save this form now and go to the browser where your root page is running so switch to the browser and go visit your root page and now refresh the form okay and you will see some rainsec error 
that it is showing in the warning that rainseg needs user attributes explicitly allow listed as searchable okay so now you need to implement this method in your uh, user model okay and there you need to provide city and country as explicit searchable attributes okay so copy this method name and open the user model okay and after the name we need to implement this class method and here we can provide country and city country and then city okay if you want to search through more attributes you can provide it here as well okay and now save the form and we will again see an error and that will be suggested by the rainseg itself here you can see rainseg needs user associations explicitly allow listed as searchable okay and this is happened why because we used two attributes here for example if you only use country let's say uh, remove this uh, from the index template here you can see if you use only country count then it will then the error will not come here okay and if you refresh the page now you will see the search form here okay but we are using city as well so we need to mention the other method as well okay so refresh this page now again and here you can see this you need to implement this method and provide an empty array to this method so come to the user model again and here you can paste it okay and now go to the browser and refresh your page okay so now you can see that this is working fine okay and now let's try to search some records based upon the country so let's provide let's call the india okay, and when you search through the india you will see that now all the users are coming where we are getting india either as city or either as country okay so here you can see all these attributes now contains at least indian okay and for where you are not getting the uh, country name is India that means their city name must be matching as India okay and now let's uh, search for the country name as Pakistan and when you search for the Pakistan you will see there are only three developers that we can use okay so this is how our range will work and we implemented that okay so here you can see that our search is working now and when you do not provide anything in the query string you can see that uh, all results by default will come here for example and if you match any name that does not match any record then you will see nothing in the search okay and if you provide an empty search then you will see all the records okay so here our range search is working and we converted our static input element into the range search okay and that was for this lecture now in the next lecture what we will do that we will make this view profile button dynamically and we will add show page for every member okay and we will learn one more aspect of rails routing okay so meanwhile try this lecture at your end and we will meet into the next lecture till then tata goodbye take care and stay safe